Ever since custom variations were implemented into tournaments, I've been able to evolve my playstyle with Kung Lao. And one such move has helped my playstyle so much, I wanted to make a guide for those interested in the capabilities Buzzsaw has to offer. I'll be covering the basics of this move, how to use it, and offensive and defensive strategies for this move. So let's get right into it. This move will take up two slots on your character variation. So, with that, so, for the other slot, I will have air teleport on this variation. Now that the move has been set up, let me explain how it's used. The move is activated by doing down back 2 and has a 13 frame startup. Once you do this, Kung Lao throws his hat in a topward view, unlike his other moves, which throw in his, which are Z hat and hat touch, which are thrown in a side view. The buzzsaw will act as any normal projectile as you wish to mainly throw it. Keep in mind this does take 3 recovery frames for the hat to return to Kung Lao, but there is an om another option. By holding 4 on your controller, you can delay the, the hat's attack for 3 seconds. While the hat is on standby, you can freely move it up and down to change where it hits. This is very useful if your opponent were to attack you from either the ground or air. Finally, you can use one attack bar to amplify the hat to keep it in a position to leave it be in and it will hit the opponent 3 seconds after. This is extremely helpful for, for when facing characters that have teleports that are hard to counter such as Scorpion and Shiva. Now that the basics have been covered, let's talk about strategy. Okay, so for starters, let's start for when the opponent is blocking. For when they're blocking, place the hat down on the Amplify, and you can um, go in for a sweep. Then still place the hat down, and go in for a hop attack. You can either go for a low, and you're going for a high. Now, I know that I understand this like seem like a casual strategy, but if they are to like go for in for like a jab, then they'll get hit by the hat right afterwards for a punish. Please note that you cannot perform a throw when the hat is out. The game will prevent you from doing that and if you are to try and do it then you'll immediately get hit by the hat and both players will be knocked down. You can still use the hat to place the opponent in block stun to keep them from getting hit by the hat and, admit and still go for the throw if you desire to go for a throw. For another strategy, when you're spaced out on your opponent, place the hat down and teleport with any of the attack moves Kung Lao has to offer. I go for the heel flip kick since it's mainly tend to hit a bit more than any of the other hits. There is also the Shaolin Strike, which is also good, but um, I do not recommend doing Shaolin Slam because your opponent will already be hit by the buzzsaw and this the Shaolin Slam is a uh, command throw, so that will not be effective. A funny nod I want to point out is how Kung Lao, when he teleports, he uses the hat, but is able to teleport without the hat when Buzzsaw is being used, and somehow is able to get a second hat out of nowhere. <laughs> Now this is a unique combo to get around your opponent's blocking, so do Buzzsaw, Sweeping Razor, and then Spin, and then that will keep the opponent juggled, and that will at least get you 265 off with an Enhanced Spin. So let's do that again, Buzzsaw, Sweeping Razor, and we were able to get 303. Let's do that one more time. Boom! 3 Oh, 3 That combo is going to be very helpful for all of you Kung Lao players out there. Now to explain this step by step, let's first do Buzzsaw, hold it, and then go for Sweeping Razor. Now let's do this again, and also add Step Punch. And you're still keeping the juggle going. Now let's do that, and add the spin. And there you go, 303 oh, um, off of that which is guaranteed for when your opponent is in block and you're trying to punish them. Now then, let's talk defensive strategies, because this hat right here 
buzzsaw literally has a far greater defense right now than the Dallas Cowboys. Shots fired! For example, let's start with this um, video of Shiva I posted a while back. Watch what I do right here. Now, as you just wow. witnessed in this clip, I was able to place the hat atop of where she was going to land on me and punish her dragon drop. This will put your odds of fighting against Shiva much easier, and it will save you from screaming at that dragon drop. <laughs> now, for characters who have a normal teleport, I do recommend holding onto the hat until they approach you from behind, as you'll see once I do against this Scarlet right here. Let's replay that. Notice how I keep the hat in position on this next hold. I hold it and then immediately uh, target the opponent. If you don't aren't able to like, get the hat closer to you in time, I recommend placing the hat down so that way if their combo is still going on, you can have the hat stop it immediately right afterwards. Your opponent does a forward jump to punish them with that attack. To add on to more damage, amplify it so you're able to move once again and you'll able to be able to do a combo in, in said air. So let's do that. And we're able to get 245 off that move. Last thing I want to cover are the flaws and weaknesses this move does take. For starters is Kung Lao's mobility. When Kung Lao is active using this move, he's unable to move and if you have gotten hit by a single projectile, the hat will vanish. And like I said before, for offensive strategies, you cannot grab the opponent while the hat is out. Otherwise, you'll just be knocked down by, while trying to grab the opponent. Lastly, you do lose the ability to perform any of these moves while Buzzsaw is activated. You'll lose the following moves. Hat Slice, Sweeping Razor, Lost Soul, Deadly Path, Under Control, Double Yang, Kung Tang, Broken Faith, Disrespect, Bro Flowing Water, Heavy Mountain, and the Iron Broom. But, once again, the Buzzsaw lasts 3 seconds, and once used, you're freely able to use all of these moves once again. If this video helped you, be sure to subscribe for more guides, and follow me on Twitch to see the Lao Legend in action. Thanks for watching.